Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM Services Integration Framework that is SIP. In today's session we will see whether it is possible to run Informatica MDM Hub and SIP web services on two different server. So in order to show that demo we have done following things. First we have deployed our Informatica MDM Hub application on JBoss server and we are going to develop SIF web services and we'll, we will be deploying those web services on WebLogic server. So here we are going to use two application server. First is JBoss application server and second is WebLogic application server. JBoss server is used to run the MDM Hub and the WebLogic application server is used to deploy and run web SIP web services. Why we are going to do this? The reason behind is normally we come across situation where the MDM hub sometimes as a MDM hub application sometimes won't work properly or sometimes SIP web services is not working properly. Many times we get the performance issue and we have to trace down the issue. So in order to achieve the performance, if you deploy MDM hub on the one server and the SIP web services on other server, it is definitely help us to achieve the performance and we can monitor this application more appropriately. So sometimes if the SIP web service is not working properly or they have the performance issue, then we can narrow down the issue by segregating or separating this application on two different application server and analyze the issue and fix the issue very easily so in order to show this demo what i uh, what we are going to do the first we are going to see whether our java our jboss application is running fine or not so as we see the java uh, jboss ap application server is running fine and on top of that the J application server on the top of application server we are checking whether mdm hub is working fine or not so in order to check we can either check the queries or we can check our servers like you can go and check our database whether the connectivity is okay or not on that server so i'm just checking my mdm sample the test is successful that means database is working fine let me check my process server and the process server also working fine so that means mdm hub is working fine on the jboss so let's go and create one custom web service using eclipse so in this demo we have used eclipse 3.7 and here in order to develop the web service we have integrated a jboss application server which is 10.3.6 version and here let's stop this first jboss uh, here a uh, web logic application server meanwhile the application server stops let's see how to create a web service project in order to create web service project you have to click file new and here you can select web service project and here you have to provide the various parameters such as what is the name of web service project what is the target runtime what is the configuration etc for this demo i already created a web service project and after creating web service project we have to create a visual file that is the web service description language file which describe the web service and also it describe the what are the operations available inside the web service as we see the name of web uh, ws file is customer ws it has the operation search and it accept input parameter and it sends the output as a response you have to generate the skeletons for this visual in order to generate skeleton you have to just right click web services and generate java skeleton once you generate it successfully it generates few classes and along with that it generates the 
actual web service in that actual uh, visual file it we will get the endpoint url now if you try to access this uh, endpoint url let's try to access in the browser when we try to access the browser it says the web web page is not available that means our server is not up so let's start our server so it is stop. Let me start. Meanwhile, it let it be start and we will see the coding part. So this is called endpoint. We have to do our coding implementation in IMPL class. Here in this case, we have written this business logic. We have the search method that is the web service method. It accept parameter as input. In the logic, we are just one logger statement web service started then we are going to call one of the custom class search query generic api inside that we have the run method which is the business method in the run method we are initializing cypern client what is the cypern client cypern client is used to achieve the communication between the external application and the mdm hub in order to initialize the cypern client we are using the cypern client property Let's go and see the Cypern client property. Cypern client property consists of ORS ID, that is OR, ORCL MDM sample, username and password. Along with that, it requires the protocol. Here we are going to use HTTP protocol. If you use the HTTP protocol, we have to enable the HTTP.call.url property. In this case, even our application, our CPF service is going to run on the web logic. We are still using the jboss uh, connection here the jboss mdm hub connection so localhost 88 is nothing but the jboss server it is running on that port cmx is the for the hub and we are going to send the request using this url so these are the property by using that properties the cypherian client will be initialized now we have the cypherian client that means we have the connection to the mdm hub once we have the connection, we are going to call the SIP API inside the search query method by passing parameter. Search query request is the SIP API which, uh, which is used to search the record into the informatic MDM hub. So we got the connection using that properties. We are passing the package name that is PKG party. If we go to the MDM hub, the name of package here is pkg party pkg underscore party that package we are using again we are filtering the result by display name like parameter whatever we are sending in the input percent sign once it is successfully sent we uh, set into the search query request we are processing that request using the cypherian client which we that nothing but we already have the connection to the mdm hub on that connection we are calling the process mode there process method with a given input this will return a result in the search query response object and we are just iterating that object and getting the records in the record from the record we are returning the display name and party type those those columns are based on what available into the party package inside the party package we have the raw id object display name party type and hub state indicator out of these four columns, we are retrieving display name and the party type for our today's demo. And once we got the display name, we are returning that display name to the calling. So calling method will get the response. Here in this case, the calling method is run. The response will be available to the run method. Where is calling the run method? That nothing but the IM pair. So here the run method is get called. So that's why the response will be available to this method. And that response is returned as a SOAP response. So let's try uh, try to, um, if you want to make some changes or you can do that. And let's publish our web service. In order to publish, just right click on the server and publish it. Once it is successfully published, we can try to access our endpoint we know the endpoint is available the newly created web service that is customer w so and we can access that here here now the 
the endpoint is available even if you want to verify one more time here it is so as the web service is successfully deployed on the weblogic application server it is saying hey hi there this is an access service so web service is successfully deployed on the weblogic server now we are going to try to access the weblogic server uh, we are trying to access the web service on the weblogic server using soap UF. so this is the soap uf 5.2 version you can da download from the um app, uh, download from the internet uh, the there are license version as well as the free version also available in order to create the soap project right click on the project new soap project provide the endpoint url here we have to give question mark wsdl so using wsdl we are going to generate our project so project so here we can see our search business method in the search business method we got the input let's provide some input so i'm giving suppose t so as per the condition the filter condition we have the filter condition says that our what are the input we are sending it should be used for the display name and display name should start with what are the given input and then the rest of thing we can use anything so here if you see we have provided the t as a input and i'm getting the t as a start date for the display name so that is correct so if you want to use any other word like t u let's try with this if you have any data then you will see so here turner that is tu we are getting so that means our web service is running on the web logic our mdm hub is running on the jbus but still we are try we are getting the connection in between these two different servers and we are able to call the mdm hub through the web service so that means our today's demo is successful on in order to, uh, we can successfully deploy our web service on the J weblogic and the mdm hub on the jbub so it yes it is possible that we can deploy and access the web service and the mdm hub on two different application server i hope this will definitely help in your future applications whenever you're going to de develop in your project thank you for watching this video if you have any questions you can mention in the video below you can subscribe my channel as well for more updates have a nice time